Alright guys, so a few days ago a new Zim Apex and Zim 4 firmware came out and in the following video we will take a closer look to find out what they do. But before we look at the firmware details, here is a short update on the PS5 compatibility. The adapter that potentially solves the PS5 issue still hasn't been sent to the Zim headquarters. But maybe it will be shipped in the following week, which should be the one in which this video will be released. At least that are the latest news from the 21st of October, which is the day I started to work on this video. So once there are any news on if the adapter works or not, I will of course make a video on it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any news on that. Now let's get back to the actual content of this video. You can find the new Zim Apex and Zim 4 firmware by going into the Zim forum. Scroll down until you can see the Apex or Zim 4 section. Under the download area you can find the beta button. Click it and you can see all the available beta firmware versions. And at the top you can always find the most recent one. The steps for the Zim 4 are the very same, just click on the beta button in the Zim 4 download section instead. Now let's look at the changes of the new Zim firmware. By the way, the firmware changes for Zim Apex and Zim 4 are identical. The same goes for the installation steps, which you can find under the download links. But let's get to the actual changes of this firmware compared to the previous one. The only change in this firmware is a support update for Xbox controllers. If you are an Xbox insider and you updated your controller to the latest beta firmware, then your controller wouldn't work with your Zim anymore. But the new Zim firmware will fix that issue. Also, to all Xbox users, please make sure to follow the setup steps below the patch notes. Otherwise you can run into a situation in which your controller goes into wireless mode. And then your Zim cannot communicate with your Xbox anymore. At last I would like to say that if you enjoy the new Zim firmware or if you happen to find anything that doesn't work as it should, then please share your feedback in the Zim forum. You can find a link to the new firmware discussions in the video description down below. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.